F Savage, bitch. Savage. And your trap will take over. over. Name another bitch that's cold. I just bought a brand new Rover. Rover. I don't even drive no more, I got a show. Took off, man, they asking me to slow up. Took off. Getting wiser and my money getting older. I that bitch, I ain't even gonna hold it. I that bitch, and I thought that it told you. We are late for work, we just got out of class. No judgment. Yeah, we just got out of class. Yeah, we just got out of class. Yeah, we just Guess we got rid of that extender. Oop. Oop. I don't have an extender. No extender from this. Cause I look a hot fucking mess, and we gotta put our hair in a ponytail because we're in the lab. We don't want that stuff on us. Ugh. I'm not gonna glue it down or nothing with this one, so it don't slide. It's gonna slide, but it's not gonna like slide. Now, I keep my watch on me like it's 10 4. I'm actually early, so I'm not, I don't need to rush. I, leave, I like to leave the house by like 10 20. But I hate looking at the time while I'm getting dressed because if I see that, I, oh, I'm not late, then I'll start moving like molasses. But if I'm thinking in my head, bitch, you late. I'm gonna go ahead and get what I need to get done. Okay, so black socks, I wear the black socks because it matches this, even though you can't see my socks. It's just a mind thing. I'm gonna put my hair in a ponytail, but right now, right quick, I'm about to Snapchat this video. Look, I can't believe it. No extenders. Putting my hair in a ponytail. Um, I think I'm put all in the ponytail. And I put my headband on because I don't want to have to worry about my wig sliding because it's not secured for real. And you know, we have on gloves. I don't have time to take my gloves on and on because I'm worried about my wig sliding back. So, to cure all that, just wear a headband. See? Simple. Keep my AirPods, cause when I'm on break, I don't want to hear my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Now, but I don't know why I do this, but I always get dressed and then I decide to brush my teeth and put the organ on. I don't know why, it's a habit. But I always, put my deodorant on last anyway because I don't like to put my deodorant on and then put my clothes on and it's on my deodorant is on my clothes. So but my teeth, I don't know why I wait until I put my clothes on. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Okay. So, I'm going to get ready. I had a 
sandwich earlier. I didn't finish it, so I'm gonna finish it. I want to take breakfast drink for our food and some water. I'm probably gonna drink some water now. But it's 10 24, so we're about to walk out. Where's my shoes? Okay, so this is the shoes. That I wear for you'll see. These are the shoes I wear for clinical lab assistant because you have to have your front, back, and sides of your foot covered. Nothing showing. So these are the shoes I wear. <clears throat> and he don't like it to be regular shoes. He likes it to be like some type of material where the fluid or whatever will slide off or easy to clean off with a wipe or like a bleach wipe. My badge. Almost forgot my badge. Y'all, if y'all work in the medical field, y'all know the struggles of forgetting your badge. I'm rushing. I gotta put the on. Guess what? I got my shirt. Fucking toothpaste. We ain't got time to worry about that though. We gotta go. But like I was saying, if you work in the medical field, you know what's up when you leave your badge at home. You can't clock in. You can't get into, depending on what department you work in, you can't get into certain parts of the hospital. It's just a whole struggle. I'll probably do a whole video on it because a lot of people ask me questions about what if I leave my badge at home, da, da, da. It's a whole bunch of stuff when you leave. Y'all think it's, oh, I just left my badge at home. No, you always like, oh shit, I left my badge at home. That's a whole problem out here. Make sure I got my mask. A lot of people ask me, am I scared when I work nights and I walk out to my car and stuff? And it's like, it's not like I am, I can get scared. But it's like, it's more of, I got to be really, really cautious. That's what I be thinking about. Like, you got to be cautious. You got to look around constantly so you know what's up. These are the goggles that I wear. These are the ones I was talking about. These are bigger. I'm going to show y'all in the light because y'all can't see right now. But I'm going to show y'all in the light. Cause I'm about to go for real. Grab my car, so. but this is the goggles we wear. So this is what it looks like. Like some stunner shades, baby. So yeah, I have these on. I don't like driving with my badge because it's so big. Well, y'all, it's 10 30. I'm about to go ahead and go because I want to be there at a certain time. I want to clock in by 11, well, 10 53. So I'm gonna see y'all whenever I see y'all. I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm gonna see y'all when I pull up. It depends. So, yeah, okay. So, we're at work. <laughs> I got a few minutes to talk to y'all. Um, because I want to go in, I'm probably gonna start walking at 10 49, but. Like I was saying earlier, you do not want to forget your badge. That's just the worst thing you can do. Badge, and for me, badge, watch, and um, AirPods. Because I do not like talking to people on my break. Depends on how I'm feeling. Most of the times, I take the time out for my break to come to myself and just relax. So, that's that. We got a little bit of a walk, y'all. Y'all, I'm just ready for you two to be full-time and working to be part-time. But I know it's gonna come with time, but I'm ready to do YouTube full-time and work part-time. So I ain't always gotta get up and clock in. That's just me. People that like to clock in, okay, that's you. This is just my opinion, my, how I feel about certain things. I, I'm tired of getting up and clocking in for somebody else. I'm just ready to have my own business. So I'd rather be the person to pay the people and get the background stuff done 
rather than be one of the employees. I'm not even going to lie. But I do love the medical field, but I would like for it to be um, part-time. Part-time. Like, I, I wish I could do this part-time. But I don't have the guts. You know how some people have the balls to quit their job and focus on what they really want to do, like, their business-wise? Like, they even go through struggling, bills be late. Some, some people, bills be late, running behind on certain stuff, and then they end up coming out on top because they focus more on their business. I'm scared to do that, okay? I'm scared. I'm scared. Because it took me so long to get where I am now. And if I just be like, you know what? I'm going to stop working and focus on YouTube and I'm going to grow da da da. Yes, it's, I understand have faith, but it's like, I was having faith praying to get to where I am now. So it's just like, I don't want to throw that away or feel like I'm throwing that away. So can't forget these. So that's just, that's just a little bit of me. Okay, so we're allowed to wear our own mask, but we have to have one of these either under or on top. And with working in the lab or working in the medical field in general, I feel like this one should not be on top. And the only reason why I say that is because if you have this on top and then you have this at the bottom, right? Like like this, right? Say say if you're dealing with something and you know how you we fix our mask and we always pull it up or some people pull it up or they adjust their glasses or whatever or pull it down. We're touching our gloves when we mess with fluids or a patient or whatever with our regular mask that we probably wear almost every day. I would rather not do that. I'd rather have this one on the inside than on the outside. And I know some people gonna be like, well, that's what you got a washing machine for. Well, all right, well, when you go, when you leave work and you take this one off and then you have this one on, it's touching your face. That's how I think of it. That's just pure point blank. But we're about to go ahead and go in. So, yeah. <sighs> this okay come on y'all we got oh am i still buckled up no. oh shit okay i'm gonna try to lock my stuff because i always forget the lock and i have my wrist out because the lady likes to take and we have to swipe the game from the garage and everything, y'all. Come on, open. Because the music plays right here. So yeah, I'm about to start recording. Okay, so she got me in the office. This is the senior tech office. I guess we're gonna talk about some stuff, go over some stuff before we get into the floor today. Cause I guess a whole bunch of stuff is going on. So I will come back to you guys whenever i can probably on break or something so yeah what's up <laughs> whoop in that motherfucker huh okay so it is 2 36 i got on break at two Ooh, i need to go back to the thing yes yeah, time to go back <laughs> i thought i was gonna talk to y'all but i was watching goddamn zoe and goddamn Zo, what's funny as hell, I was watching Musty Monday. So, I don't got caught up in the bull, the bullshit. I gotta get back to work. But so far, y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all when I get off what I've been dealing with, because I'm doing a lot of new stuff. Like, a lot. Like, I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff that I was not doing. Like, the last week. whatsoever like i'm doing a whole bunch of stuff and i'm gonna explain to y'all i don't know if you guys like this type of vlog without seeing what's in the lab but i'm gonna I'm tell you what i'm doing or what i did today so i hope y'all still like these vlogs because i'm trying i'm still in training mode so i can't record on the floor if i wasn't in training mode i would try i would just blur out everything but as of right now Oh, all them parking spaces open. As of right now, I can't. So, rushing back. See y'all when I get off. 
We don't have long left. We're gonna move this way. Okay, guys. So, I'm going on break. I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about my day. Okay, so, I thought about how I can vlog for you guys, but I have to, have to, have to, have to, have to, have to be off training because there's information everywhere so i'll have to be off training and i will have to really like edit i'm no i know i really edit my videos now but i will have to really sit and edit edit like if there's even a peak of a name or a letter or a number or anything i have to um i gotta blur it out because it's that serious so we're gonna see but i'm going to my car because i'm on break oh i want to take this corset off but i'm got a few more hours so try to keep it on <sighs> i don't know i might take this off I might take this shit off for today. Cause I got a lot to do today. What time is it? Two, so I put it on at 11. So I had it on, well I put it on at 10.30 actually. For 11.12. Only had it on for like three hours. But I'm not gonna wash my clothes until Friday morning when I get off work. Cause I usually wait till the weekend to wash my clothes. So I don't have to, when I get off work, which is night shift, I don't have to get off work, wash clothes and have to keep waking up to rotate the clothes, like put them in a the dryer and wash them because they don't be tired for work, keep waking up. Cause it's hard for me to go to sleep because of me working night shift. Unless I can only go to sleep right away if I'm exhausted, which is not good. So <clears throat> when I do go to, hold on, go straight to sleep, I try to, excuse me, that was ugly, that was not cute. <clears throat> I try to really, like, stay asleep. Like, yes, like today, technically yesterday, I went to sleep. And I set my alarm for 9 o'clock, y'all. I slept the whole entire time. I did not wake up till 8.30. I was like, dang, I was not down. But it's because, hold on, y'all about to cut off because I'm about to cut my car on. But it was for the simple fact of that yeah, I was really, really tired though. I went to sleep, but usually I'll go to sleep and then I'll wake up and I'll go to sleep and I'll wake up and I'll go to sleep and I'll wake up. This time I slept, baby. I slept, slept. I was knocked the fuck out. So. The parking lot is really empty. As you guys can see. Well, I don't know if that looks empty to y'all, but look. The parking lot is really empty, but trust and believe when I walk out of here at seven o'clock, it's gonna be packed as motherfucker. Well, okay, that's the one good thing about working night shift. You ain't really gotta worry about getting parking. Day shift and morning shift, they be fighting for parking, baby. I'm talking about when I leave out, people be following me fighting for parking. Like they'll literally hold up the whole traffic in the entire garage just to follow me to see where I'm going and to see if I'm gonna back out. And if you don't back out, like this happened to me one time. So I was getting, I had to do a call. So I'm sitting in the car. I had to do a call because I have some stuff going on. Um, So I wanted to get some stuff situated. So y'all, when I said that car was waiting on me, honking and everything, I was like, hold on, bitch. You need to go the fuck on because I'm going to go when I'm ready to go. You're not about to rush me to go and I'm not ready to go. I got some shit to handle. I understand people need parking and da 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 but you should have came early baby boy baby girl whoever the fuck because you're not about to rush me you're not about to honk at me while i'm walking you're not about to rush me at all if you get a parking spot you get a parking spot if you don't you don't if you late that's on you that ain't got, that ain't got shit to do with me i'm taking a call 
because I hate being on the phone and driving because first of all, I like listening to my music. Second of all, it, especially with me just now kind of learning the route to my job, even though it's close, I got to go over a bridge and all that stuff, all them exits. I ain't got time. So I sat in the garage and I taught, made my phone call. That's what I do at every job. I usually sit before I just pull up. I don't just get in the car. I'm not one of the people that get in the car and drive right away from work. I have to sit, calm myself down, take a breather, and then I go home. And then I do the same thing when I get home. The fuck? So, anyways, I'm going to tell you guys more about the job. So, I'm doing like, okay, so I got another video I want to do um, about clinical assistant. I want to do the pros and cons video. I want to do um, what all goes on. I kind of did that already. But, y'all, you deal with so much stuff. You deal with, oh my God, I can't even, I don't even know if I should tell y'all because I'll, I'm doing a whole video on it. But, you deal with a whole bunch of stuff, y'all. Pee everywhere, poop everywhere. Everything is everywhere, y'all. So, if you do not, like, if you don't like germs and stuff, this ain't a job for you. But even though it's a relaxing job, like, all I'm doing is receiving or ordering stuff. But I'm not gonna lie, I do take stuff and put it from tube to tube. Like I'll get pee in out of a cup and put it in a tube. I don't deal with poop, you just scan the poop. Or like I'll take some blood, take it out the tube, put it in another tube. Like you do do stuff like that. But you don't deal with stuff like, you don't deal with poop. You don't like move poop from one tube to another tube. You don't do certain stuff. You. But you do do urine and um, blood or serum, whatever you want to call it, or plasma. So, if you're a germaphobe, I really don't think, I really don't think you won't like it because the lab, the whole lab, is dirty. And I'll explain that. I'm, in, I'm gonna go into depth in another video that I'll probably do today or tomorrow. But the whole lab is dirty. So if you're a germaphobe, you're not gonna, like, you're, you're gonna be par You gonna have a conniption, a whole conniption fit because there's there's germs everywhere. So. I dealt with okay so right today I'm on my look at me getting comfortable like I'm like like y'all sitting here like I'm talking like face to face but tonight tonight right now it is 250 I got on break at 245 so I'm probably gonna go in at 2 at 310 just to go sit in the um break room with my trainer because I go back when she go back I'm I'm not about to go back before she go back and fuck that I'm gonna take my whole break not a whole break but I'm gonna take however long she take because you know them trainers or them senior takes or whatever they be taking from. they be having their own little time when they want to get back and stuff like that but so i'm falling behind her i'm still training so that's not my whole break anyway but i am gonna um get more into depth on videos but y'all i am on my fourth bucket when ordering you're supposed to do 15 patients per hour which means you're supposed to order like 15 patients and that could be like oh y'all probably think oh 15 15 orders in an hour i can do that like that ain't nothing y'all these forms are so goddamn motherfucking complicated it's not even funny like it's so like it's so unnecessary like you gotta do so much but it is what it is this is the job i wanted this is the money i wanted I'm not gonna complain and I'm just chilling. That's another thing. If you want an on your feet job, like if you cannot sit down your whole shift, I mean, I'm not sitting down my whole shift. You do get up and transport the tubes or deal with the machines with the tubes or give the tubes to a certain tech and stuff. Like you do get up every now and then, but you do sit majority of the time and you're on the computer and on the phone. So if that's not for you, like if you can't sit and sit still for a long period of time, this job is not for you. If you fall asleep easy, it's not for you. If you like to be on your feet, this is not for you because it's just like we're sitting down, we're ordering, or we're receiving too. Like we're sitting down majority of the time. So you have to pay real close attention to detail. With that being said, y'all, with that being said, if you like to be on your feet and stuff, this job is probably not for you because you're not really on your feet. You do get up sometimes, but you're not on your feet most of the time. Um, if you're a person that if you sit down for a, a certain amount of time or you're not up all the time and you fall asleep, this is not for you because you got to pay close attention to detail. You got to pay close attention to what type of tube, what test, because there's a lot of tubes that's been labeled and don't have the right label. Like... Say somebody ordered uh, 
let me think a hiv test that's supposed to be in the pink tube say they put the that sticker for the hiv test on a yellow top or a gold top you have to cancel that whole test because that's not the right tube they have to draw another tube in the right tube and label it correctly so it's just like you have to pay attention to details and if you're a person that just be like like that falling asleep or whatever because you're not up and running this is not the job for you because you have to pay attention every time you receive something or every time you order something it's stamped with your name in the system so people can tell when you receive something and when you didn't receive something when you order something when you didn't order something and if you did something wrong so this job is very close attention to detail very you gotta pay attention that's all you gotta pay attention you gotta be on your toes like you gotta know and pay attention to detail when something's wrong you gotta either cancel it or order another one some things might be a duplicate like some people might have like two labels on the same cup of pee and they mean the same thing right so you have to dupe one out you have to cancel one and leave the other like you got to pay attention to stuff like that so this job it's, it's cool it's whatever i like it um i wish i could show you guys more with me being in training i wish i would have tr i wish i would have recorded more when i was on the computer but y'all was so ready to get out for that computer stuff and get into the lab baby because that's where i want to be so now i'm just ready to get training so whenever i, I want to pick up hours i can do that according to my whatever i got going on with school but y'all my goal my trainer hates me for saying this but my goal is to do youtube full-time and do this job part-time so i can focus more on school and my trainer was like well that's backwards she was like you should be focused more, more on this and less on youtube for school and i was like i understand what you're saying yes i can get a lot of experience here i can do this and that but when it comes to youtube i'm on my own schedule i can record my own videos i can do this and that i can upload videos to make money if i need some more money i can upload extra videos on my time this job if i'm tired i still have to come to work because they can write you up they can fire you after a certain amount of write-ups i I don't have to worry about with that with YouTube. And she was like, well, I just don't understand why you want your YouTube to be your full-time and this be your part-time. She was like, if you ask me, you don't need a job at all. You need to be focused on school. And I was like, I have stuff to pay for. And she was like, that's your fault. You should save up for school. You should have saved up for school first and then go to school and you should have no payments or nothing. First of all, I'm gonna do a whole video on this. It's gonna be like my, unpo my unpopular opinions. First of all, I know my background. I know what I'm going through. I gotta make shit happen. People make shit happen when they're in certain situations. So you as a person that's giving some give that's been getting stuff given to you by your parents should not have no say so in what I do or how I should do things. Now, by all means, I don't feel no type of way with people that have their parents. People that get stuff from their parents people that have their parents to to provide for to provide for them and do things like that because that's what parents are supposed to do parents are supposed to be there for you parents are supposed to have your back parents are, are supposed to pick you up when you fall down i don't have no problem with that but there's a problem when you're telling other people that they should do this they should do that or they need to do this and do that because you've done it because you have your parents Therefore, you not everybody have their parents there for them. So you can't say, oh, you don't need a car payment. You should have saved up for school and then went to school and then not work. You can't tell me how to do that because you had your parents. I don't. You can't tell somebody how to do something when they're not in the same position as you. So I, I, I did the conversation by not saying nothing because I don't want to seem like a bitter person be like, okay well you had this you had that da, da, da. and then she will and then she'd be like oh you saying me having my parents be there for me is the is a is a wrong thing or me some what's that saying being fed by a silver silver spoon or whatever the fuck no i'm not like that i'm saying you can't base my life off of how you lived yours or how who you who's in your life like you can't base my life and what i do because of your life and how it's been done for you your car's been paid schooling and the only reason why i know why her parents pay for schooling because she told me she wanted to be a doctor but she couldn't because her mom couldn't afford it you can have no say so in my life if i have a bill i have a fucking bill baby why are you mad i understand you want to put in your two cents but baby keep your change i don't want it that's it that's all 
So it's like, okay, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm done with the conversation because it is, it's escalating to something where it shouldn't be. Like, okay, you have this for you. Good, great. I'm glad you have your parents. I don't want nobody. I don't even want my enemy in the position that I have. The, I have been through a lot in three years to be fucking 21. I don't want nobody in the position that I have been in. So I don't hate on people that have their parents or nothing like that. And I don't want to seem like a bitter person. But it's just like, keep your comments to yourself. If you don't know nobody's background or their situation. That's just that. So she got mad at me, I guess, because she was like... You want to be a YouTuber, da da da, and then she was like, "Do you know anything about dark web and how how people are taking your money, girl? I don't give a fuck. I don't care about nobody taking my my money on the dark web. As long as I get that check that I see on YouTube, on YouTube Studios, I don't give a fuck. Just like you telling me about the dark web, you know how how many things that you do, all the shit that you do, and I know you're not getting paid the right amount of money for it. Either way, you get fucked." You get fucked if you have your own business because you got to do all this stuff and you don't feel like you're making the money, da, da, da. You get fucked if you get a 95 and you're doing all this shit and you don't feel like you get... Either way, you get fucked. So it's just like, stop judging other people based on what they do. I know what I'm trying to do. I got a medical job, YouTube, and I'm trying to start my business. You have two good jobs. You work at a clinic and you work at this hospital. And you're um a laboratory tech. Two good jobs. You stay in your lane, I stay in mine. You 30-something. Of course. I'm going to do what I want to do. If I want to be a social on social media, I'm going to be on social media. She was like, YouTube is not forever. Yes, I understand it. That's why you have a savings account. That's why you have a backup. And she was like, I don't understand why nursing would be your part-time and YouTube would be your full-time. Because that's what I want to do. Yes, I want to do both. But I'm more into graphics. I'm more into YouTube. That's what I want to do. And she was like, well, why didn't you just do marketing? And I'm just like... I don't want to do marketing. Plus, when I looked up marketing, marketing, marketing is hard. Like, it's hard for them to get a job. Because you have to really sell yourself to get a job. I don't have all that time. I've been jumping from house to house. I've been doing this and that. I'm trying to get my life straight. I'm trying to get my life on the line. So if I want to do nursing part-time, I want to do nursing part-time. PRN. You know how many how much money PRN nurses get paid? Travel PRN nurses get paid. That's what I want to do. I don't want to be stuck at a job. I'm trying to grow my stuff. When I hit my goals on YouTube and then my business, I'll probably come back. I'm not saying I'm not going to complete I'm going to I'm not saying I'm going to completely give up nursing, but it's something I want to do, but I don't want to put my whole life into nursing. Like she was saying, she was saying 95 of the nurses don't stay in nursing. People use nursing as a stepping stone. People use nursing to pay off all their stuff, house, cars. People use their nursing degrees to get their own business, whether it's clothes or medical stuff or a whole hospital, whatever the fuck. People use nursing to get to um, nurse practitioners. People use nursing as a stepping stone. You do not have to be at bedside to be a nurse. Like, for you to be a nurse, you don't have to always be at bedside. There's other positions that you can do as a nurse. So she was like, yeah, everybody want to be a nurse. First of all, baby, you went to nursing school. You're a nurse. But you found out this one for you and you went to something else. That's what people have to go through. You can't say, oh, you need to figure out what you want. Because not everybody know exactly what you want, what they want. Yes, they can get a degree and be in the field. And if they don't want to be there, they don't want to fucking be there. She got mad at me because she. I said I'm in the whole conversation because I said I'm in new new. I'm in school for nursing, and she was like, everybody want to be a nurse. Da 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 da. Okay, I don't want to be a bedside nurse. I want to be a certain type of nurse. I know what type of nurse I want to be. I don't want to be a bedside nurse. So it's just like if people don't know your whole plan. Or your background, they should have an opinion. They can say what they want. They just should keep it to themselves. Or they should just talk behind my back. Because I don't give a fuck. If somebody talk behind my back and they don't say it to me, I don't care. But don't try to fuss back and forth with me on my life. If I want to be a PRN nurse part-time, that's what the fuck I'm going to do. I'm going to pay off all my shit. Get my house. Pay my shit. Live my life. Travel on YouTube. If, if that's what I want to do, that's what I want to do. So we had uh, she she had got kind of heated or whatever. So that was that. I just cause like when people say certain stuff to me, I just be like, okay. Like when I don't want to fuss, I be like, okay, all right. And you keep egging it on. 
that's when it's time for me to say get the fuck out of my face because it's like I'm done talking because you're trying to start an argument. I'm I, I'm hearing you out. I'm listening to you, but after a while, I'm I'm gonna do what I want to do. She was like, "Oh, I forget. You 21. You don't have the mindset like me." Okay, I don't care. And you still, you have two full-time jobs, coming to work tired, complaining every night, saying you don't make enough money. I don't want to be in that position, and I'm not going to be in that position. I'm not. I'm going to be a PR nurse, making a good amount of money without working full-time, and I'm going to do YouTube, what I love, which is going to be another income, and then I'm going to have my business, which is going to be another income, and whichever I choose to be my for the rest of my life fully, that's what I'm going to choose. You can't get mad at me. I don't want to be like you. I've been you for three years. I've been you since I've been kicked out. Working two jobs. Going back to back. Being tired. Don't want to clock in. Them jobs don't care about you. Nine to five is not for everybody. And then again, YouTube or whatever is not for everybody. I'm just saying, y'all, do what you want to do. Work a nine to five. Get your own business. YouTube. Um, Whatever. Whatever you want to do, do it. Don't let others talk you like them old folks older people i respect y'all but sometimes y'all be talking a little bit too goddamn much let me make my mistakes let me do what i'm gonna do okay dark web all that bullshit you sound crazy i don't give a fuck about none of that shit if i'm not searching for it i don't give a fuck that's how i say that's but y'all she was real mad honey mm. so it's just like it was just a whole bunch y'all but anyways my goal is to do youtube full-time and do this part-time so i can focus more on school put it straight like that anyways um but yeah y'all there's a whole bunch of stuff that we do i can't wait to get my series going because as i'm learning i've been in this job for two weeks and i've already learned a lot i'm probably gonna do a video on receiving specimens before i do a video on any other thing because it's just like it's so much so I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do videos as I'm training. So right now I'm in the receiving part. So I'm probably gonna tell y'all a little bit how about receiving and stuff. But this clip is getting a little too long. So I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys like the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll be posting once a week, if not more than once a week. Don't forget to wash your hands, stay cautious, keep your mask on, stay blessed. Be aware of y'all surroundings, y'all, because there's a lot going on. Y'all see me looking around like it's, a, it's been a lot of stuff going on all around the world. So y'all stay cautious. And I'll see you guys in my next video. The only reason why I'm closing it out now, because I already got clips from the other days. This is like a few days later. This clip is like a few days later. But I wanted to get this video out just so you guys know I'm, I'm, I'm not, I have not forgotten about y'all in this series. So... Yeah, y'all stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in my next video. And I hope you guys are liking the new videos that I'm trying to put out. I'm trying to put out reactions, trolling on monkey, work vlogs, regular vlogs, and other little challenges. So, y'all stay tuned.